like I said, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the boot, like you said, but um, cause I'm feeling better than last week, I'll tell you that. But like I said, we, I'm, I'm on a plan today, and we'll see how it goes. Last time you guys went up there, it, it wasn't a great day for this team. Does, does that fuel any of the fire for you guys wanting to go back up there and play better than you did last time? That don't matter. Um, our, our goal is to go beat the 2022 uh, Packers and to start with the run game. They, they have a great run game with two good running backs who run the ball hard. And uh, they try to, they, they gonna get a ball to him a lot. So I, I'll go this to stop the run first and then affect the quarterback. What have they done so well in the run game over the last month to get them, you know, 200 plus yards, three out of the last four times? They committed to it. They, they not um, shying away from it. Even when they down, um, they committed to staying on track with running the ball. So um, even if we up, we have to stay consistent with the run, um, the way we stop the run. And we've been doing that pretty good this year. And um, but this game right here, like I said, they have two good running backs, and you know that's a challenge for us up front, um, especially just to go in and be able to stop the run. So, tackling AJ Dillon different. I mean, you, you I mean, yeah, he's a bigger back than most backs, you know. Um, so, uh, like I said, he's very powerful, as we saw. I mean, you brought up the last time we played him. You know, he kind of I think he had like over 150 yards against us. Like I said, he was hard to tackle, and I think that's where we have got so much better on this defense. We we swarming, um, and that's what it's gonna take this um, what well, Thursday night. Um, we got to get all hats to the ball, and that's what it's gonna take to tackle each one of them back. So, how much yeah. of the rest? Of <laughs> uh, we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm st still um, you know trying to work through a lot, um, but you know I'm feeling better. Like I said, and you know. We always say, we joke about it, but it's amazing what you don't, um, how much you feel better when you're not playing football. But, you know, it's not something that I wanted. Um, I, I really wanted to be out there, especially Sunday, uh, playing against a team like that. But like I said, I, I trusted the plan. And um, like I said, I'm feeling better today. So, so we're going to work through a, a couple of stuff today. And um, hopefully I can get into that game on Thursday night. Yeah, it's big. Uh, rhythm's a lot, you know, for an offense. Uh, keeps defenses on their toes uh, so they can't be you know, locked in and know exactly what we got going on. Um, you know, every good offense, you know, there's a yin and yang to it. They got to be able to do both. So, uh, yeah, super important. Any confidence boost from the fact that Denver was so good against the pass and you all were able to do it, y'all were, as an offense, did this last Sunday? Yeah, uh, definitely there's some confidence there. You know, also there's some missed opportunities that we wish we could have back too. So just having that growth mindset, uh, not being complacent um, with our performance, uh, and just trying to figure out ways that we can still get better. Nick, have you been up to Green Bay? I can't remember if you were here. That. Yeah, I was there you, 2020. You were that year. Yeah, so yeah. clearly you kind of got a taste of it. Uh, what makes that place so difficult to, to play at? Uh, I mean, when I was there, there was nobody in the fans. There was no fans, <laughs> so right. it was a little different. If anything, I feel like that made it a little bit more difficult. Uh, it was just cold, and there was no one in the fans. There was no really juice. It was real quiet. Um, lots so, of snow. Lots of snow, yeah. too. Uh, but that's all stuff that we can't control, so we just got to go out there and perform as, as best as we can. What do you see from this pack defense specifically, you know, some of the secondary players? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they got a lot of talented guys. Uh, you know, number twenty-three, Yair Alexander. You know, makes plays. Really instinctual player. Um, and they've got guys all all around the ball. You know, watching tape, there's always a guy right there, either breaking it up or you know making it a contested catch. Yeah, I mean, ever since I've been here, we've been winning. Uh, it's not it's not a thing where you know never had a losing season here. Don't plan on it. Uh, so like I said, just the culture and just the thing the guys buy in. Uh, especially ever since Mike Mary brought a certain culture here and uh, guys buy in, right? If they just signed on the street this week or uh, rather they've been here for two or three years, like myself, uh, guys just buy in. So uh, like I said, it's culture. Uh, we're just trying to build a championship team and we're just working hard as we can to try to make that happen. You have Aaron Rodgers this week, obviously a little bit of a down year for Aaron, but he's still Aaron Rodgers. What do you have to do to prepare short week? Watch as much film as we possibly can. Obviously Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Fame quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks to ever play this game. Um, it's going to be a tough matchup down there, especially a cold game in Green Bay. Uh, November football uh, should be like a playoff atmosphere, so we're going to be super excited, juiced up on a Thursday night. Um, I think it's key for them, man. Honestly, like you said, man, they you might not be having the same stats that he's had the past careers winning an MVP, but we're going to have to stop the run. I mean, I think as of right now, their two best players, I mean, obviously Aaron Rodgers is their best player, but best skill player is going to be in the backfield with A.J. Dillon and uh, – and Aaron Jones, they're going to get them the ball as much as they possibly can. The three, I think the three out of four games they won, they ran for over 200 yards. So uh, the big key in this game is going to be, 
our rush defense versus their rush offense, which are both pretty good. How cognizant do you have to be defensively when you guys are substituting on and then preparing and then that offense are going to take advantage of any opportunities? Yeah, we've been watching that in the film room even today. Um, like on third downs, just understanding that certain, you know, we have a lot of different personnel groups on third downs, but sometimes depending on what we're in on second down, we might have to stay out there and play ball with that with that personnel group because Aaron Rodgers, if he see any indecision on subs, even if he's in the huddle, he's going to get the guys out there and snap the ball quick. And he has the best cadence in the league. I mean, he gets guys to jump off sides. He's going to milk that clock all the way down under five seconds, almost one second, even on first and second down. So that's just going to be the chess match that, you know, me and uh, some of the other guys in the second is going to have to play with him, just like stemming our alignments and things like that. And not think that he just had those easy access throws because we're just showing our hand early. Better outcome of this game, so we've been doing a really good job of preparing. What What do you see from this Packers up front? Uh, they're a really good front. Uh, you know, it's a challenge. Like I said, every week, uh, this is a team that's really going to commit to running the ball. So we want to take advantage of you know everything that they're doing. You know, to play and benefit us. You look forward to, to always going up against a guy like Aaron Rodgers. Too. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, playing against a really good quarterback like that, you know, um, I've talked about times where he gets frustrated. So. Us bringing pressure and us doing what we do, you know, let's try to frustrate him as much as we can. Byron kind of said that this is pretty much epic week, short week, mm -hmm. tired, it's going to be cold up there, it's an epic go play. Is that kind of the mentality for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. You can't really make an excuse. You know, they play it Sunday, we play it Sunday, they got to turn around and play just like we do. So you can't really make an excuse or you can't really use that as a factor. You know, you got to. We, we took care of what we needed to on Sunday, so now it's a short week. You got to prepare like it's a regular week. You mentioned it. I mean, they got, you know, a couple of good running backs. Everybody talks about Rodgers in the passing game, but they got a couple of studs in the back too. How do you prepare for that? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a challenge, you know, and we're always up for the challenge. Um, it's a team that's really going to take pride in running the ball, you know, and we take pride in stopping the run. So, it's, <laughs> so we, uh, you know, we just got to do what we do every week. Very impressive, you know, because that's not an easy thing to do, especially as a rookie you know, coming into this league. Uh, you have to prepare differently every week. Uh, you have to take care of your body. He's doing a great job of that. Obviously, everybody's playing for injuries, but uh, I mean, I'm mean, exciting to see that. You know, uh, yeah, that's the best thing to have is availability. He's been available for us. He's doing a great job. Uh, still taking it week by week. I mean, bah, week by week, day by day. Uh, like I said, uh, I was close to going this past Sunday, but you know, it just didn't feel comfortable believing. How key for you guys as you look at the big picture of the season? You're down, Bud's down, Jeffrey's down. You still sneak out that victory and set yourselves up for this Thursday nighter. Yeah, uh, that was a big win for us. You know, like you said, missing a lot of guys. But uh, you know, us as uh, defense, we just look at it as the next guy has to step up and make plays before like, everybody that's in this building you know, has to prepare to be a starter. And uh, those guys prepared to be play like starters, they did and made plays for us. And like I said, a big win. And uh, it's good to have that, get that confidence. Watson and Lazard, two kind of bigger physical dudes, aren't they? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Watson you know, very fast. Uh, like you said, big. As a, like Lazard, he's fast too, but he has a big catch radius. So uh, they're going to try to stretch the field with those guys, you know, and um, like you said, they're physical. So we have to play physical with them too. Now, you're from the South, the deep South. Do you feel the cold when you're playing, or once the whistle blows, is it all good? Uh, I feel the cold. <laughs> For the cold. I don't think you can get used to it, but, uh, you know, once the ball snaps, you know, it's, it's just football for me. You know, so uh, you just got to uh, block it out and uh, be ready to go. Yeah.